Hey guys, welcome to Zero Degree Coder. In this video, I'm going to talk about how can you make your counter app using React Redux. Okay, so before moving on to what is uh, how to get counter app, so we are um, so we are using a uh, React TypeScript apps, and so before like moving to the folder uh, for the for that to get a counter app, I'm going to discuss what is Redux. So Redux is a basic a uh, JavaScript predictable state container where like it can be like uh, a state you can contain your state in one place. Okay, now let's get started to get a counter app. Okay, counter app in Redux. Okay, and okay. So so work with the Redux. We have to install a package called Redux. So I install the Redux package and another package called React Redux to work on the front end part. Okay. I installed the two package. Okay, on the source folder, I make a directory called Redux directory. And the Redux directory, I make a folder called a counter. Oh, sorry, my bad. I make a folder called counter. On the counter, we need a, a, a three three file called xn types dot ts. Okay. Another one will be a reducer a dot ts and the last one will be xn dot ts okay this is all about the uh, basic setup for the our counter app and the most important thing is called store dot ts okay so now i have to import or create store create store create store from redux okay so i import the create store from the redux okay now i make a call export export cons store is equal to create store okay now what is create store text create store say is a text a reducer reducer function and another one called enhancer it's called the store enhancer okay so now uh, it's time to give the our reducer so i pass the my a uh, reducer it's called so before like creating the reducer i make like so i make a counter like x uh, first of all i create a count x and type so first i going to make a first counter type will be like uh, increment increment counter okay and copy the variable name and paste to the variable name okay now another will be a uh, counter will be a decrement counter okay i make decrement decrement counter accent type so what is accent to types so accent accent types help us to define the accent type uh it's helpful us on the accent okay now it's time to import these two accent types in our app import increment 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 oh, oh my bad can you copy this variable okay. you copy this variable and import in the my accent import increment counter from dot slash accent types okay and another variable is called uh decrement count okay now up to create a accent creator so accent creator is what what is accent creator so now it's time to make a accent creator so accent creator what does accent creator do Accent creator has just two things. It takes a payload, it takes payload and have uh, it takes a payload and an accent types. Okay. Accent types. Now I make a call export const uh uh increment increment counter accent. Okay. Increment counter accent. Okay. So what does it take? It takes a payload. Payload will be like a number string i in my case a payload will be a number okay another thing is that it takes a payload and return what does it return we have to add type type is equal to uh, increment uh, counter increment counter and we return a payload okay whatever the payload will be okay so you can see a uh, called uh, unexpected level statement Let's say comma has no side effect. Okay. 
So once I have to check out my in the code, I just forget that. So uh, how it's going to be, how it's going to be on the Excel. Uh, it's called the counter and I have to define a type. Okay. Okay, sorry, my bad. Okay, so um, one thing I forget that. So what does it take? Uh, it's called uh, like we return that function and it's taken a type. So in my case, it's called a increment counter and a payload. Okay, cool. Now we have to also write the logic for the look. So first of all, like we are writing the logic for the increment counter action. Okay, on the reducer. So what is the reducer? What is the reducer? So reducer is just a plain JavaScript function function where we write plain JavaScript function so where we write our logic where we write write our logic okay so I think you got it what is action type what is action action is just a plain JavaScript object which takes a type and the payload okay the reducer has a like plain JavaScript function where we are route write logic so before like uh writing our logic we have to import this action because we need these two actions so i just import these two actions okay now i have to make create a reducer export const uh counter reducer okay so uh, what does counter reducer okay so on the counter reducer function it's a plain javascript it has a called state okay and another, another thing is called action it has an action if i like hover the counter reducer so we have an action so from the action i just destructure the a type and a payload okay okay before like uh in sliding my state i just in a slide my cons initial state inside cons initial state i just define my count is equal to one okay and here i define my state is equal to innate state it will be my initial state okay now i have to add a switch case okay my first switch case will be like uh, according to my type if type will be an uh, increment counter okay so what does i do if type will be increment counter so before that i just might read my count const count is equal to state so count will be where well, like on the st now state is equal to initial state and state dot count has a count variable so i just do state dot count has a initial variable if my case is increment counter what does i do i do return okay and inside return what i have to do to i just spread my my whole state if there is a state okay it's not like here it here is not important to spread this but i just spread out my state okay and another thing is that what i have to do and i have to add count is equal to okay i have to increment my counter by one so what does i have to do count is equal to or uh, like i have to increment a counter regarding to my payload okay so what does i do count is equal to count plus payload okay this is the logic for the uh, for the my uh, increment counter so whatever like my so whatever like my initial count will be one and whatever like if i'm sending five so it will be increment five to so one plus five will be six if i'm incrementing plus one so it will be increment by one else if the default is state then I just do return an state. Okay, it will restart return my state. You can also see like I already written some code, some block of code. So you can see if the case is default, I'm returning to my state. Okay, so this is a basic configuration of my action types. Now, so what is it create store? So create store takes a reducer. Okay, so here I define a uh, counter state is equal to uh, i define a counter reducer okay it has a counter state and define a counter reducer okay mm, what is error coming okay i have to check out my ones store so how is it doing counter reducer okay so we can also do like this directly uh, inside this one like this counter reducer Oh my bad. Okay. It will be like directory counter reducer. So okay. So the reducer comes to the my store. Okay. Now what I have to do, like whenever like reducer comes, now I go into my front end part app.tsx in the index.tsx. 
so have like i already installed react redux okay so what to connect with the uh, like this is the like logic for the tech redux code library we are using the code library redux but to connect with the connect with the Re react connect connect the redux with the react uh, for the data binding we use react redux library which help us to bind so first of all we import our import store i think i'm doing store import store from dot slash redux slash store if i go on the store so yeah i'm importing store here and i just import the store another thing is comes like provider so import provider as redux provider okay redux provider from i'm importing this from react redux okay so i imported this one also okay now i have to like uh, i have to like uh, we want the whole app state should be on the, my whole app so what does i do i just pass the redux provider okay i right click this and okay so what does i do so i i wrap my whole app with the redux providers and redux providers takes a called store so i pass a store to this this app okay now what what you can see now now my uh, my like my redux has been pined to the other to the redux okay now it's time to read the to read the our app state to, to read the app state we use the help of use selector so cons redux state if you want the redux, redux state so what does i do redux state cons redux is, state is equal to you use selector use selector oh my bad why it's not coming use selector hook use use just hold on use selector okay i have to import import use selector from react redux okay so you can see a use selector hook has been imported okay and it takes a state okay and it's return a state so you can see our whole redux state has been come if i console the log redux so what does like if you want to read the state okay state of our redux have so it's called the one hook called use selector hook which help us to read the state of the redux app so if i console.log a redux state so what does it show to me you can see that also so what does redux state so you can see account is equal to one yeah so i have to show a counter okay h1 i make a i make a h2 tag okay uh h2 tag and i say that i'd say here that redux count redux count is Okay, now I have to read the count. So on the uh, Redux state, I just add a state dot count. Okay, so it will give me a state dot count. What is this thing? State is a type of unknown. So I just say type. So now it's like it's say to me the type of state is unknown, not an issue. So I can also read from the like on the Redux state, we have to destructure the count from the Redux state. And we can see uh, we get the Redux state. Okay, so there is some error called what is saying property counters don't exist on type unknown. So he's saying to type define the type of state. So what is the type of state we can define from the state? So I have already like written the type of state we can so okay. So uh okay, just hold down, hold down, use app.tsx. So like I'm taking the reference like what I has done for the state. Okay. So to define the type, I think export road is to do sir store type. So what does like to import the you know to fix it is like to fix the type error. We can define a type of any for the like for now, but we can also fix it further. Okay. So now Redux, if you can see account is one. And I can show here Redux count is one. Now, so we can see like uh, we can access the uh, like Redux state 
uh, to the our react app okay now it's time to change now the question comes in your mind how can we mutate or change the way the state of the products our app so now we have to to change the state of products we have a called action we have to dispatch an action okay so now i make a function called increment counter counter by one so what does this function do it's increment the counter by one okay i had a, on click on this and on click and i pass a handle increment okay handle increment what did the handle increment do i write a function called const handle increment which takes a function as argument okay so i make a function called handle increment which dispatch okay so now i have to dispatch an action to dispatch an action we have to import we have to import uh we have to import just hold on now where was i like i was thinking like how can we increment the counter so increment the counter we just want to add like we have to like i'm create a function called handle increment to now we have to dispatch an action to dispatch an action we want the hook called use dispatch okay i have to impose use dispatch hook from the redux okay so it comes also from the use dispatch okay so this hooks has been like this i copy the hook dispatch and what does it do like i have to dispatch an action which i created a dispatch action so i dispatch uh sorry dispatch action called increment increment counter if i show you like on the counter action dot ts so i created of action called increment counter action okay so if i type increment counter action and i import that action okay it's not showing me a suggestion so i have to import I have to import increment counter action action from dot slash redux slash counter slash x so i imported that okay so what is saying the dispatch is on but value never okay not an issue so i'm dispatching a handle increment action so what does it take like i have to increment by one so i pass one okay and there's coming error cannot find them dispatch Const dis this patch okay so so what have will happen if i click on okay so what is the my logic like i like i i read the just hold on uh so what we have done we have import the dis use app use this patch from the react products and we have it stored the uh, on the dispatch and like we have to increment like dispatching the increment counter action so if we click on this increment counter one so it will increment the counter by one so you can see so no now it's time to make another button called a dispatch in decrement counter by decrement counter by one okay so now how can you create a decrement counter so we have to make a, another a function called handle decrement okay so i make a function called handle decrement decrement okay so for this one okay i make a function called handle decrement and we have to like make a call action for this one okay this is the action action for the handle increment counter action so what does like view so it will incrementing by one if i click on here so it will also increment but what does we want we want that that it will be a decrement okay so we have to write our logic so first of all i go and uh, write a decrement counter okay so another thing like we have just import that a decrement counter okay the spelling is uh, wrong it will manage okay not an issue now now it's time to make a like i make a okay i just corrected the spelling okay handle decrement decrement okay that's corrected corrected okay decrement decrement counter okay so what does i do what does i do right now to decrement the counter to write the handle decrement counter okay so what does we do so first of all we define the type what should be a type so my type will be decrement counter 
Okay, now it's time to create an action creator. So what does action creator? Action creator is just a normal uh, object which takes action, action and and another thing is called payload. Okay, so what does I do? I just do export. Okay, export const decrement decrement counter action action. I make a variable called a decrement counter action and I pass a payload as a number payload as a number and I make a uh what are you I return of of object which has like which like set uh, called type I define the type okay another thing is called a payload okay whatever the payload okay so whatever like the value is come I pass it so so what is reducer on the reducer we said that reducer is a plain JavaScript function where we'll write our logic okay so I make a, another case called I make another case called uh, case decrement and decree decrement counter. Okay. So what does we do on the decrement counter? Uh, like I make a return. Okay. Now I have to add our logic. I split the whole state. Okay. Okay. Now another thing is that. Okay. So it's like it's totally up to you. Like if you want to split the whole state, because our state is like only count one. If you want to spread, spread otherwise, otherwise you can also like do it's also working. So it's not a big deal for to you, you know. So I just split the like it's a if you have a like large like something more like a product is one. So it's up to you, man. Like if you want to do, you know, or put it one or not one to spread. So it's totally up to you. Okay, now we have to write a decrement logic. So count is equal to count minus payload. Okay. Okay. So now uh what does it do? I write a decrement counter. Okay. So we have some error called binding element type in which has find any. So it's called type error. I think you got fix it, not an issue. Okay. So I make a call as reducer for the decrement counter. Okay. Now on this store, we have a counter that is already imported. So we have write a decrement, we have write action, and we have also write a reducer for the logic. So now we have to just I copy the decrement counter action and I close all the tabs. Okay. Now uh now I just open my app.tsx folder, okay. App.tsx file, okay, and have to put here. A decrement counter action and I have to import this action. Okay. I imported this action and if I click decrement, so now what you see redux count is one. So if I click on increment counter by one, it will increment the counter by one. Basically, what is happening? It dispatched the increment counter action by one. And when I click on decrement counter by one, so what is happening? It is decrement, it dispatched the action called decrement and counter action one. So what is decrement counter action? Action so it takes a decrement counter action is what so it takes a payload okay so whatever you are giving so it takes a payload okay and return an object which has a type and payload okay after that it's go to the reducer okay so whenever like we dispatch an action so it's from the dispatch it go to the reducer okay so and it tapes to the it's it saved to the store like it's saved to the our store and reflect to the our whole our app so if we like increment counter by one decrement counter by one so this is all happening in our app okay so i hope it's guys making for you sense if like if i give a task like uh like uh multiply the count by one okay so i make another uh action called uh okay just make another action called okay multiply by multiply 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 by five so how do you go guys i am going to write the logic if i like multiply by five okay this is like you have to make a action which do which like multiply with five okay so what you have to do i make a handle multiply handle multiply handle multi multiply i make a function called handle multiply okay now i just make a function const handle multiply it's it will be a function okay so what does we do i dispatch okay 
I make a function now. Now it's time to make a first of all we make to have to have to make a uh, accent type. So I make a multiply count. I must just copy paste. Okay. I define our accent type will be a called multiply 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 counter. Okay. I copy it. Define it here. Okay. I just import to the my accent. Okay. Import it here. Multiply counter. Okay. Now. After importing that, I have to write a logic. I have to write a just a accent creator, accent creator for multiply, multiply. Okay. So what does we how you write accent creator? Export cons multiply multiply e counter whatever like you want to give a name even name multiply counter accent. So what does it take? It take a payload. Okay. I multiply by okay. So after that and what does i do okay it takes a payload and what does we want to return i return type okay types would be a uh, multiply 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 counter okay after that i type also define a payload okay oh uh, we define a payload we define a type okay now on the reducer part the most important thing is comes to the re reducer part okay i just uh, like you know take the type multiply counter okay if the case is I just write a case for the if the case will be a multiply counter. Okay, oh, sorry, my bad. If the case will be a multiply counter. So what do you have to do? I just want to uh, return what I have to return. I just split the my previous state of apps. Okay. Okay. Now another thing is that count. So what I do count is equal to uh, what is like what is like whatever the my initial count so i am reading from the state dot count whatever and count is equal to count into into uh into a payload whatever the user is giving is a payload okay so i make a multiply counter and we have already created a action multiply counter action okay so now i go on the my app dot tsx we have added called handle multiply so it will call handle multiply action and clicking on multiply by five button. So okay, what I have to do, I have to dispatch a action called multiply counter action. So I have to import this action from the Redux. So you can see I'm importing this action multiply counter action from Redux counter action. And I have to pass a multiply by five. So what is happening? My counter uh, action takes a payload is a five and we have already defined a type which is uh, coming multiply counter and it's like uh, accent okay so it create an accent okay after accent when you created it's go on the the reducer okay so what do we do the reducer like a uh, reducer has reducer has accent so it is structuring the we have accent from the accent we i destructure the type and payload okay after destructuring the uh, type and payload payload we are checking so if i switch case if the case is multiply counter then we are spreading the state if they're like you know if is if in this object there's a multiple state or something more we just split that state and what i do if count is my one then count is equal to like it's become count into payload okay so if i click on multiply by five so if my count is one into payload it's multiply by five so it will become five five into ten five into five five into five one to five so you can see a variable okay if i create on decrement counter by one the decrement plus one plus one and multiply five so you can see how it's happening how cool okay so basically this is the all about the a counter app with one extra so guys this is an like this i'm giving you one homework okay so homework will be like uh i want to say that you have to to uh divide by by five you have to make a button that will be a Okay, my task will be create a uh, action, create it an action that divide it the counter by if five. Basically, if my counter if my counter value is five, okay, so it will divide by five and the result will be give us one. Okay, so we have to make like this. I hope guys this is making sense for you. And I just make I just I will also add a counter app products TS for you guys. So yeah, that's all about this video. I ho I hope this guys make your sense for you.
थैंक यू हैव अ नाइस डे